This is a vacuum tube. Now, like an architect is going to give you a floor plan for your house, in electronics, we draw schematics. The vacuum tube is represented on paper like this. One element is called the anode. It's also called the plate. We then have the grid. The grid's gonna control the flow of electrons. We have the cathode. Those are where the electrons are coming from. But how do they get off the cathode, you ask? Well, like an incandescent light bulb, there's another element called the heater. So we run a voltage into the heater. That gets the cathode hot. The electrons start flowing. And it's the grid, the input signal that we feed into the grid that controls that flow. From there, we get a bigger signal out the plate than we started with at the grid. And that's how vacuum tubes work.